Hi guys, welcome to your channel, Digital Empaths, where we discuss on the different aspects of the digital ecosystem and live by the mantra that how can we democratize the knowledge and insights with a lot of empathy with our listeners and subscribers. I'm your host, Sushant Achwani, and in our today's Weekend Knowledge Series, I'm going to talk about a very interesting topic that is cognitive supply chain, which is a big buzzword in our industry since last couple of years. And there are lots of experimentations going on in this regards that how the organizations across different industry verticals can embrace the idea of 100% digitization, as well as bring the power of machine learning and AI in the value chain so that they can have better predictability, better transparency and control. The big question is, what is this cognitive supply chain concept and what value it can bring to the value chain? So the whole concept of cognitive supply chain talks about that how your supply chain can sense what is happening and recall that what has transpired. It can sense what has actually happened and anticipate what is coming. It can determine what are the best possible corrective actions it can take in the given conditions. It can instantly take the humanless decisions and task automation. It can evolve with AI, self-learning and adaptation. Now, the big question comes that what needs to happen in order for the organizations to embrace the idea of cognitive supply chain? The first fundamental thing is digitization. If you look at the current supply chain ecosystem, still a significant portion of the ecosystem is managed over Excel. Still, it's completely human dependent. Though some of the large players, the large CPG, FMCG and automotive players have invested millions of dollars in the last few years to digitize their operations. But if we look at the MSME sector, which provides the components to these end user manufacturers that is still not digitized. Even if I look at a country like India, where the MSMEs contribute approximately 29% to the GDP and the government is expecting in the coming years, it has to reach the 50% uh, threshold in order for the economy to become a $5 trillion economy. Unless and until the MSME sector get digitized, and it gets the desired support from the state and central government. It gets the proper incentives. It gets the proper push and collaboration, the vertical collaboration from the end user manufacturers. This whole dream of cognitive supply chain is not going to be reality. So it's very, very important that, that if we are talking about bringing the cognitive aspect to the supply chain ecosystem, we need to focus on the MSMEs first because they are the biggest contributor to the lifeline of this entire value chain. Now, the other aspect that we need to look at is in order to bring the cognitive aspect, the reality is the digital dexterity, that how to create the insights first culture, how to bring the digital literacy in the MSME sector, how to empower these users with the proper trainings, with the proper evangelization sessions, so that they embrace the idea of data, so that they embrace the idea of taking decisions based on the insights that get generated by the different nodes of the supply chain. So unless and until the MSME sector invests in the digital dexterity, this idea of cognitive supply chain will not become reality. The third aspect is, the financing from the financial institutions, as well as the other lenders who are providing the, the easy finance to the MSMEs that how they can promote the idea of data driven or the digital driven, unless and until they incentivize or create a smarter lending structure, which motivates these MSMEs to invest their working capital, not just in the inventory, or into the day-to-day -day operational cost of salaries and rentals, but also keep a certain proportion of that working capital locked into digitization. 
and that's very very much important to build, to create the idea of this cognitive supply chain now another question that comes is that if we would have this cognitive supply chain infrastructure already in place let's talk about an ideal world would we be in a better shape to handle the current pandemic now there is no easy answer to that because if you look at the current pandemic there were earlier signals around the supply side first i think the whole distress started from the supply side before we entered into the demand shock phase and there are fears that as we entered into the next quarter of july onwards we are going to enter into again the supply shock phase where the demand is going to pick up and the supply would not be enough to meet that demand and the basic reason behind that is the whole lockdown phase we are in and the massive labor migration which is happening in the asia region where millions of people are getting displaced they are moving back to their hometowns and their villages and the biggest challenge the msme is going to face as the lockdown phase is relaxed that the human labor is not there some of the msmes are already screaming about that approximately 30 to 70% of their workforce is gone and those msmes who are very well dependent on the machineries their machineries have not been cycled for months and their major worry is that how to cycle this machinery how to lubricate it how to achieve the 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 incumbent statistical process controls which they promised to the end user manufacturers so that they can deliver the quality components to the end supply chain there are five major problems that most of the supply chain players are experiencing right now the first is how they can recalibrate their incumbent demand forecast because there's a lot of demand volatility both at the retail side also as well as on the e-commerce side also and it's the fundamental challenge they are facing is that how they can recalibrate this forecast readjust their forecasting accuracy so that they can better prepare for the coming weeks and months number 2 is how to have a better supply and operations planning because the msme sector is completely in the lockdown phase or even running at 15 to 20% of its capacity and now you need to expedite your production you need to expedite your planning and have a better visibility and transparency around that what kind of an optimal inventory what kind of an optimal safety stock we need to maintain and what how to go back to our older inventory fill rate levels how to maintain the good service levels from the customer satisfaction side so that we have a better control on the entire order life cycle the third piece is optimal route planning if you look at the transportation sector is on complete halt since last few months and even if certain amount of transportation providers who are running their fleet they're using it basically for moving the daily essentials the transportation and logistics sector which currently contributes approximately 10 to 12% of the global gdp is in a very distressful phase right now and the biggest challenge for the end user manufacturers as well as for these carriers and the msmes that how to do the smarter route planning and how to do a smarter hub optimization so that the order cycle time can be under control so that the proper inventory turnover can happen so that the inventory to sales ratio can be maintained the fourth aspect is the e-commerce which, which has really flourished in the last few months especially if you look at the numbers in us the e-commerce percentage of the total retail sales is currently 27% that's ridiculously higher and even if you look at the numbers 8 weeks prior it was fluctuating between 16 to 17% and now we have seen a surge in the e-commerce adoption in the last 8 to 12 weeks and it is happening because of the current pandemic because your traditional retail channels are not working and most of the cpg fmcg retail technology players are embracing the idea of how to invest heavily in the segmented supply chain and and break down 
our retail supply chain from the e-commerce supply chain have a separate procurement, separate inventory planning, a separate demand forecasting, and a better transportation and logistics management for the e-commerce channel. Last but not the least is transparency and predictability around the sales and distribution, which is still running at 20 to 30% of its capacity. And that sector is already putting a lot of pressure on the state government that how they can go up to 50% of the capacity. Now, if you look at the current challenges that we are facing in the current pandemic, and we look at this whole idea of cognitive supply chain, it doesn't look like a reality in the near future. Because still, a lot of aspect of this value chain is not digitized. Still, this entire MSME sector is relying on a big chunk of human labor and a big chunk of working capital is still locked into inventory and meeting the day-to-day -day operational needs. So it's very important that if we want this idea of cognitive supply chain to become a reality, the organizations, the end user manufacturers, the state and central governments have to think primarily about how to bring digitization in the MSME sector, how to give them easy financing. And unless and until that happens, this idea will never become reality. However, there are some early successes. However, there are some companies who are seeing some good efficiency gains. They're seeing a better predictability, but that's only happening on the end user manufacturing side, not at the upstream. And that is what is required in the coming months and quarters to happen. So until then, stay safe, stay connected, and keep flourishing.